Hello everybody, I'm Simon Matthews and today we will be discussing a topic on three-dimensional geometry which is a part of grade 12 maths and it is also useful for the NATA eligibility test for architecture. So we will be discussing the topic angle between two planes. This channel has videos for grades 11, 12, graduate engineering maths and the GRE quantitative section. Do consider subscribing to this channel or visit my page and do let me know if you need any further help on this topic. There are four problems in this video. Problem 1 illustrates how to find the angle between two planes. In problem 2 we learn how to check if two planes are parallel. Problem 3 touches upon a topic already discussed earlier that is plane passing through the intersection of two planes. And problem 4 deals with finding the angle between the line and the plane. So we come to basic formula first. Angle between two planes. These are two planes. Angle between the two planes is given by cos theta equal to a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 by root a1 squared plus b1 squared plus c1 squared into root a2 squared plus b2 squared plus c2 squared. Acute angle theta is governed by cos theta. It is the same formula but with a modulus sign a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 by root a1 squared plus b1 squared plus c1 squared into root a2 squared plus b2 squared plus c2 squared. Two planes a1x plus b1y plus c1z plus d1 equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2z plus d2 equal to 0 are parallel if we take the coefficients, coefficients of x that is a1 by a2 equal to coefficient of y which is b1 by b2 equal to coefficient of z which is c1 by c2. And lastly, angle between a plane, this is a vector form, r dot n equal to d and a line r equal to a plus lambda b is given by sine theta equal to v dot n by mod b mod n. Coming to questions, find the angle between the planes r dot i plus j equal to 1 and r dot i plus k equal to 3. So what do we do? We convert it to the Cartesian form. Cartesian form of the first plane is x plus y minus 1 equal to 0. Of the second plane will be x minus z minus 3 equal to 0. So from the earlier formula on slide 1, cos theta equal to multiply the coefficients of x 1 plus multiply the coefficient of y which is 0 plus multiply the coefficient of z which is 0 by root 1 plus 1 into root 1 plus 1 that is 1 by 2. So the acute angle is given by 5 by 3 or 60 degrees. Coming to question 2, determine whether the planes 2x minus y plus 3z minus 1 equal to 0 and 2x minus y plus 3z plus 3 equal to 0 are parallel or perpendicular. From slide 4, the planes are parallel if their coefficients are proportional. We can see that the coefficient of x is 2 by 2, which is 1. What is the coefficient of y? Minus 1 by minus 1, which is again 1. And coefficient of z is 3 by 3, which is 1. So coefficient of x, y, z are equal, so the planes are parallel. So subtract the t of the count. Many of you feel that you can't do maths, but you can. You only need to practice. Question 3. Find the equation of the plane through the line of intersection of the two planes. 3x minus 4y plus 5z equal to 10. 2x plus 2y minus 3z equal to 4. And parallel to the line x equal to 2y equal to 3z. As discussed earlier, whenever you are given a plane passing through the line of intersection of two planes, you take equation of the first plane plus lambda into equation of the second plane equal to 0. So that would give you 3x minus 4y plus 5z minus 10 plus lambda times 2x plus 2y minus 3z minus 4 equal to 0. What shall we do next? Take the coefficients of x together. So I get 3 plus 2 lambda x plus minus 4 plus 2 lambda y plus 5 minus 3 lambda z minus 10 minus 4 lambda equal to 0. Now the normal to the plane has direction ratios 3 plus 2 lambda minus 4 plus 2 lambda 5 minus 3 lambda. And what is given to you that the plane is parallel to the line x equal to 2y equal to 3z. 
we need to find the direction ratios of this line. So first we write it as x equal to y by half equal to z by 1 by 3. So what are the direction ratios, the denominators of x, y, z? That is 1 half 1 by 3. We can't write it like this, so we take the LCM, so it is 6, 3, 2. We normally avoid writing the direction ratios as a ratio. That's why we have as a fraction. That's why we convert it to this form. Now normal to the plane is perpendicular to the line having direction ratio 6, 3, 2. And what do we know? When two lines are perpendicular, the product of the direction ratios is 0. So we use just, just that. 3 plus 2 lambda minus 4 plus 2 lambda, 5 minus 3 lambda are the direction ratios of the first line. And 6, 3, 2 are the direction ratios of the second line. So I get 6 into 3 plus 2 lambda plus 3 into minus 4 plus 2 lambda plus 2 into 5 minus 3 lambda equal to 0. Solving we get 18 plus 12 lambda minus 12 plus 6 lambda plus 10 minus 6 lambda equal to 0. How do you solve it? You get 16 plus 12 lambda is 0. Now lambda is minus 4 by 3. And now what do we do? We need to substitute this value of lambda in the equation in slide 12. So substituting we get 3 plus 2 minus 4 by 3x plus minus 4 plus 2 into minus 4 by 3y plus 5 minus 3 into minus 4 by 3z minus 10 minus 4 into minus 4 by 3 equal to 0. So simplifying we get 3 minus 8 by 3x plus minus 4 minus 8 by 3y plus 5 plus 12 by 3z minus 30 plus 16 by 3 equal to 0 and you, do you know how to simplify? We take the LCM and cross multiply so the 3 disappears. So after simplifying your final answer is x minus 20y plus 27z minus 14 equal to 0. Coming to question 4. Find the angle between the line x minus 6 by 3 equal to y minus 7 by 2 equal to z minus 7 by minus 2 and the plane x plus y plus 2z equal to 0. So how do you convert this equation Cartesian form to the vector form? We write r equal to take the point 6i plus 7j plus 7k plus lambda times the direction ratios 3i plus 2j minus 2k. So comparing it with r equal to a plus lambda b, your b is 3i plus 2j minus 2k. And how do you find the vector equation of the plane? This is a Cartesian equation of the plane. So vector equation of the plane will be r dot i plus j plus 2k equal to 0. So comparing it with r dot n equal to b1 or b, n equal to i plus j plus 2k. And what's the formula which I gave in slide 5? Sin theta is b dot n by mod b mod n. We know b, n and we substitute. So when we take the cross pro dot product, we get 3 plus 2 minus 4 by root 17 into root 6. So what is sin theta? 1 by root 102 or theta is sin inverse 1 by root 102. Note that when we are finding the formula for angle between a line and a plane, we write the formula in terms of sine. So what have we covered? Finding the angle between two planes, finding the angle between a line and a plane and what next? Checking if two planes are parallel or perpendicular. So consider subscribing to my channel or visit my page. I would love to hear your feedback. Thank you.